What is the spotted lanternfly? The spotted lanternfly is an invasive insect from China. It is a member of the Fulgoridae family, more commonly known as plant hoppers. Adults are approximately one inch long, with females being slightly larger than the males. Adults have creamy colored front wings with black tips and veins. The back wings are red, white, and black. Both sets of wings have black spots. Sometimes the front wings can take on a pink hue when folded over the red portions of the back wings. Spotted lanternflies have four nymph stages known as instars. Each instar stage is slightly larger than the previous one. The first three instars have black bodies with white spots. The fourth instar stage has a red and black body with white spots. Spotted lanternfly nymphs are strong jumpers and will launch themselves away from danger when disturbed. Adults are better at jumping than they are at flying. Adult females lay egg masses in the fall, which will hatch the following spring. Instars grow and develop over spring and early summer before turning into adults in mid to late summer. Why is the spotted lanternfly a problem? Spotted lanternflies feed on the sap of over 70 different species of trees and other plants. Many of these plants and trees have importance to the forestry, nursery, and agricultural industries. And a Penn State study estimated that spotted lanternflies could inflict $324 million worth of damage annually. Species most at risk of damage include almonds, apples, apricots, birches, cherries, grapes, hops, maples, nectarines, oaks, peaches, plums, poplars, sycamores, walnuts, and willows. Pines can also be affected, but are not known to be a good host species for spotted lanternflies. The lanternfly's preferred host species is another invasive, the Tree of Heaven. Tree of Heaven has compound leaves like our native black walnut and sumex. However, it can be easily distinguished from these species by its seeds, which grow in clusters of samaras or wings, similar to those of maple trees. Spotted lanternflies have been known to kill Tree of Heaven with their feeding when their populations are high enough. The lanternflies can also kill saplings of other tree species and kill grapevines. Damage to older trees is typically limited to localized branches. Lanternfly nymphs will feed on herbaceous vegetation as well as the leaves of woody plants, including perennial flowers and roses used in landscaping. Aside from direct damage from feeding, spotted lanternflies can cause other issues too. When they're feeding, lanternflies produce a substance called honeydew as a way to get rid of waste products. Honeydew is a sticky, sugary substance which attracts other insects, including bees, wasps, and ants. Anything below an area where lanternflies are feeding will get coated in the honeydew, allowing for the growth of sooty mold. This mold can stop photosynthesis in plants by covering their leaves, and it will also stain patio furniture, decks, vehicles, walkways, and other man-made surfaces. Where has spotted lanternfly been found in Beaver County? Because the spotted lanternfly is not a strong flyer, it spreads mostly through hitchhiking. The first places where it appeared in Beaver County were along our railroad tracks and larger highways. Patches of invasive Tree of Heaven help it to establish populations which can grow quickly. Over the next several years, it is anticipated that spotted lanternfly populations will continue to expand outward into the rest of the county from these major transportation routes. Beaver County is in the spotted lanternfly quarantine zone. What does this mean? Beaver County has been placed in the spotted lanternfly quarantine zone because we now have reproducing populations of this invasive species. Businesses moving goods or people within or from a quarantine zone in order to do their work need to obtain a permit from the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. This permit is free and involves a manager taking an online training course on the spotted lanternfly and then teaching staff how to inspect for the lanternfly on vehicles, equipment, and goods which the lanternfly could use to hitchhike to new locations. Penn State Extension provides free permit study materials on its website. What can landowners and residents do to reduce spotted lanternfly populations on their properties? 
Individual residents and landowners may not need a permit, but the Penn State Extension study materials can help you too. Monitoring your property for the presence of spotted lanternfly is a good place to start. The Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture has developed a checklist which people can use to help them search for spotted lanternflies and their egg masses around their homes. If you find lanternflies or their eggs on your property, you should collect and kill them if possible. Report sightings of the spotted lanternfly through Penn State Extension's reporting tool at the website listed or call 1-888-4-BADFLY. Monitoring for spotted lanternfly is easier to do with traps than it is by observing alone. The lanternflies will gather together at dusk and into the night. Nymphs may spend only a day or two on a particular plant before moving on to another. Adults will congregate on favored trees, known as hot trees, for several weeks at a time year after year. Although some tree species are preferred by spotted lanternflies over others, it is not fully understood why some trees become hot trees while others don't. Known hot trees may be a good candidates for setting up lanternfly traps and other management practices. Landowners can also help reduce spotted lanternfly populations by removing their favorite host species, Tree of Heaven, from their property. If you think you've found spotted lanternflies on your property, you can contact the Beaver County Conservation District or Penn State Extension to help you confirm the identification before reporting it. You can also visit Penn State Extension's website for more information on spotted lanternfly monitoring and management.